As several situation reports on the 2024 Ondo gubernatorial elections spring up, The Guardian TV shines the spotlight on a particular situation report which highlights the challenges faced by persons with disabilities in the course of the election. Number one, vote buying and electoral math practice. In numerous polling units visited by observers, vote buying was conducted over, overtly undermining the sanctity of electoral process. For example, at St. David Primary School, Ijomu, Akure South, interested voters were issued coupons before proceeding to the polling booths. After voting for the preferred party of the vote sellers, voters raised their marked ballot papers for party agents to confirm. Upon verification, the agents take the coupons, which qualify the voters to collect monetary rewards at a designated spot. Such practices erode electoral integrity. Number two, vote not provision of assistive tools. INEC failed to deploy critical assistive tools at several polling units, contrary to the requirements of the Electoral Act. For instance, ballot box guides were not provided in polling units with registered blind voters, such as polling units sent at St. Thomas Church 1, code 029. Bogi Isiko, Akure South, and Okemeso okay, Registration Area, Ward 5 Units, 008. Blind voters are to rely on assisted voting, which compromises the secrecy and independence of their votes. Observation 3 Non deployment of Form EC40H. Form EC40H, which is essential for capturing and categorizing persons with disability voter information and statistics was missing in some polling units with registered voters with disabilities. For instance, this was observed in Igoba, Ishinigo area, Ward 5, Unit 008, 022, and 028 in accurate North local government area. And number four, inconsistent priority voting. While many voters with disabilities were granted priority voting, some others were not bringing about inconsistencies. The report ended with a call for INEC, civil society organizations, and all stakeholders to work together to address these challenges and build a truly inclusive electoral system. Stay tuned for more updates from The Guardian TV.